Well, the long gestating Fantastic Four. We're getting some rumours now, some rumours and rumblings, uh, that the sort of debut in the Marvel Cinematic Universe will be a time-travelling adventure to the 1960s. So this, uh, yeah, well, look, it's interesting. We're, we're sort of going to dive into this today. I can give you my thoughts on that. Uh, but before we do, ladies and gents, please do check out my live stream clip channel. It's linked down below in the description box. I'm streaming twice a week. Fantastic streams of great people, really good panels. Uh, and you know what? You just love the conversation. So, you know, I, I understand you can't watch, you know, two hour streams. Not all of you can anyway. So I clip them. I uh, take uh, all the topics and stuff, split them into different videos, and it's up there on that second channel. So hit subscribe to that channel and hit the bell notification icon, uh, you know, and you'll like it. I promise. But anyway, let's dive into this because, yeah, this has been long awaited. This uh, is one of those things which I think loads of people are like, well, how are you going to do this then? Well, this is how they're going to do it. A time-traveling adventure to the 1960s. So, according to the latest whispers surrounding the Marvel Cinematic Universe, when they finally do make their return to the silver screen, the Fantastic Four will do so with a time-travel adventure set in the 60s. Which I think is, you know, it's an interesting avenue to go down, let's put it that way. Uh, we're getting all this multiverse stuff, and apparently Kang will appear as well. So, the latest rumour was put forth on November 16th by uh, noted scooper Daniel Rich, 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 who revealed this supposed insider information via his personal Twitter account, and said Marvel Studios' upcoming Fantastic Four will be set in the 60s, where Richman uh, said that there will be a team out of time. So, the tweet is as follows, you can see it here. Marvel Studios' upcoming Fantastic Four will be set in the past 60s. There will be a team out of time. Neither Kang nor a Doom is the villain. Alright. <laughs> Come on. Kang will be in the movie, but he's there to connect the group to the two Avengers movies. It's not strictly an origin story, but we'll see. How is the group connected to the two Avengers movies when they're in the 60s? What? Me no understands. I'm a bit. I am genuinely a bit confused by that. I don't. I don't understand that. Uh, I also, you know, Kang not being a villain. Fine, sure. But then you've got to explain how or why Kang isn't a villain. Because if it's Kang, you know, Kang the Conqueror, how how is he not the villain? Why we, why is he not the villain? Uh, Doom not being the villain. Short, sure, fine, and it doesn't say that he's not going to be in it, but hopefully he is in it. I think not having Doom in this series, or with this movie, sorry, is a, a huge misstep. Just to introduce the concept of him, whether it be in a post credit scene or whatever, he needs to be in it in some shape or form. But I also think this is part of the problem, is you're going to introduce Fantastic Four in a time travel movie in the 60s, Kang's going to be in it, because it's, of course... You know, part of this Kang Dynasty saga, whatever. And you now can't set up Doctor Doom properly because you're introducing the Fantastic Four with a new big villain. So you can't introduce a future big villain. So I think that they sort of muddle. I mean, because Doom is a great villain. You know, he could be another big villain that everyone has to deal with. But they can't really introduce him when they're pushing Kang. It becomes a bit of a disconnect there. So, a bit of a shame, really. Now, he further noted that while neither Kang nor a Doom is the villain, the former would, in fact, make an appearance in the film, though solely as a means to connect the group to the two Avengers movies. So, this is the Kang Dynasty and Secret Wars. Um, I'm assuming, but I still don't understand how they're connected when they're out of time. So, finally, the scuba claimed that the Fantastic Four's MCU debut is not strictly an origin story, but we'll see. So they're, I guess, writing it as, well, they're sort of there already. So we'll see, I guess, maybe. Who knows? Um, you know, I, 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 to me, I think this is a bit of a misstep. There's even rumours that they're recut. You know, you're not, you're not going to get John Krasinski back. Why wouldn't you get him back? There's rumours of, of casting updates for this, which just is nonsense, basically. Now, should Marvel's first family actually end up Hopping through time, there's a good chance, particularly given Marvel's current inability to help themselves from virtue signaling, that outside of the studio's CGI superheroes, 
uh, that the film will spend an inordinate amount of time drawing laughably dishonest parallels between the social and economic issues of the past and those of the present. And this is part of the problem, is that the current Marvel sort of narrative is pushing this message. I mean, it was at the entire expense of Phase 4. You know, just throw out all fun entertainment uh, elements and just be like, right, here's a message. You just shove that down your throat. I, I, the entire expense of Phase 4 was at this crap. I'm not interested in it. And so many other people are not interested in it anymore. Now, what could happen in the 60s? Well, they could fight the Vietnam War. American Civil Rights Act. Um, you know, forced expulsion of Nikita Khrushchev as leader of the Soviet Union. Uh, and 1960s were undoubtedly a tumultuous time. So, there's lots you could do. However, most metrics... Least of all, standards of living. So things have gotten better across the board and the globe, uh, and in the you know in the ensuing sixty years. So it'll be interesting. I mean, there's there's lots you could do, but make no mistake, they will probably push it to a bunch of trash. So Fantastic Four, uh, any future Marvel project, in fact, um, yeah, they will be claiming an awful lot of nonsense. So I don't know, you know, I, I don't like this, you know, they're talking about this plot or cast, right? So there's no word on whether John Krasinski will reprise the role. There's rumours that he's not going to be um, at all. In fact, it has been confirmed that the film will be directed by Matt Shackman, who did WandaVision and written by the two-man team behind the indie comedy Bert and Ernie and Arnie, sorry, Guide to the Friendship. Uh, Jeff Kaplan uh, and Ian Springer, fine, sure. Uh, the film itself has received a release date, so 2025, February. So again, very much full on in this, you know, new phase. Ah, uh, for me, I don't think this is great news. I think, given Marvel's current track record, I just think this is a bad. Uh, I don't. I don't think any of this spells great success, because at the expense of entertainment, they are looking to lecture people now, and it's boring, because there's no entertainment. I don't, you know, I, I don't want to be, you know, lectured. I want to be entertained when I go to the, the cinema. The theater. So let me know what you guys think. 60s could be great. Probably not going to be, though.